Hey everybody, this is Michael back from Next Gen Update bringing you another Photoshop tutorial. Today's tutorial will be not will not be new, but it'll be an update from the scanline cut that I made because people didn't really understand it. Today I'll be going very slower and making sure you guys know how to do it. So the first step is to go to file new and pick your size. Alright, then you're going to make your text, get your text tool and make a selection. Then just put in any kind of text that you want and put it wherever you want it on your SIG, avatar, wherever. Pause the video from here if you need time to do this. Alright, so the next step is to add some style. So to do that you're going to double click your text layer or you can go to you can right click your text layer and go to blending options same thing then from here just pick whatever you want make it look a little bit nice you can do what I'm doing if you want I don't really care that's usually what I use alright so if you need more time from here just pause the video and then come back alright so the next step is to go to your rectangle tool right there rectangle tool then pick a color you want the scan line to be because this is going to be the scan line that's going to be moving left and right I'll be picking red right, don't do that, just go to edit, undo if that happens alright then you're going to want to make a, the size that you want your uh, scan line to be and I'll have that and then move it to the beginning of where you want your scan line to start if you need more time from here pause the video Alright, so the next step is to press new frame down here. Look, come down, press new frame. Then the next step is to move your scan line to the end where you want your scan line to stop. And go to your text layer. And move your text layer down to the, the little frame thing. Then you should get something like this. And the next step is to go to between these little four circles and type in 75. That's going to be how many frames you're going to add. Then from there it should look a little like this. And it should only be going right for now. Alright, so the next step is to scroll all the way over and click your last frame. Then repeat what we just did and make another make another uh, rectangle yeah so just make a rectangle about the same size as this one and start from the end and if your little circle didn't uh, little square thing rectangle thing didn't pop up as a little outline like this then just press control alt z to undo and then do the frame thing again, the tween, the little four four dots, and go to 75 again, and then don't press anything, it'll be there, just outline it again. Then you'll be here. If you need more time from here, just pause the video and come back. So the next step is to retrace it and do the same size. Do it as close as possible. Then do the same thing as we did last time. Press new frame move it over to where you want it to end right on the other side and go to your text layer and bring it down here then go to tween 75 and go to the beginning it should look like this then it should go back and then it just keeps going on and on alright so now on how to save it you're gonna go to file save for web and devices and let it load up and just press save and save it to wherever you want it oh, I won't be saving it because I don't really want it so I hope this tutorial was better than the first one uh, I went a real real slower so you guys can understand it and if you guys like this video, please 
subscribe and rate it give me a like thumbs up and also comment so yeah also remember to click the link below to go to the next gen update and sign up for our amazing site uh, sign up and you'll see exactly what I mean by amazing. Thanks for watching guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you later.